Good afternoon from Adelaide Botanic Garden where the showers have arrived now but spring is in the air and so is this hot air balloon as part of uh, National Asthma Awareness Week. I'll talk about that at 6 o'clock but firstly taking a look at the weather we had a top of 15.8 degrees today. We are expecting scattered showers tonight and possible thunder but here's a look at how the rest of the country is looking for their Tuesday. Possible showers in Perth, Melbourne and Hobart. Rain in Canberra and Sydney. A fine day for Brisbane and Darwin. Back around SA, possible showers for the mid-north Flinders and eastern air peninsula clear heading for 13 17 in Port Pirie and Broken Hill showers clearing in the southern districts Nuri Utpur and Kings Coat are aiming for 13 14 in the lower southeast and for the city and suburbs tomorrow we can expect a shower or two with a top of 16 in Adelaide Elizabeth and Norlunga and I'll have the full forecast for the rest of this week coming up in our 6 p.m. bulletin I'll see you then it marked the first day of spring and it was definitely in the air and for asthma sufferers it can be a dreaded time of year Virginia Langerberg joins us from Adelaide Adelaide Botanic Gardens, where the Asthma Foundation has kicked off its National Awareness Week. Now, Virginia, what's the message they want us to take home? Well, Brenton, the message for hay fever sufferers and asthmatics is to take control of their condition. This spring is set to be a particularly bad one as far as breathing difficulties go. The Weather Bureau has forecast a warmer and drier spring than normal. And what that means is that there's a greater likelihood of more days where the pollen count will be in the very high to extreme range. So the advice for asthma sufferers is to keep their medication on them at all times. Rowena Flack from French's Forest knows when spring is in the air. Her children, nine-year-old Tara and six-year-old Saxon, both have asthma. With Saxon, I have to be more vigilant because he's younger and he doesn't always tell people if he's having an asthma attack. Um, Tara knows what to do. It's only the first day of the season and right on cue, the pollen count is up with high levels forecast right across Sydney. Today and Wednesday will probably be the hardest day for pollen sufferers. The one in five Australians with hay fever and allergies will feel the change in season most, while those with asthma have also been warned, as pollen can act as a trigger. If you can minimise your allergic symptoms, your asthma will improve as well. Sufferers can also take the new asthma control test. By answering five simple questions, they can get practical advice about how best to manage their condition. And that will tell you just how well controlled your asthma is and what kind of steps you need to be taking in order to get on top of it. While we're already experiencing high pollen days, later this month levels are expected to get even worse. So those affected are advised to keep their medication on hand at all times. To take the test, visit the Asthma Australia website. Kate Creedon, Nine News. So the message this week is keep on top of your asthma condition and potentially see your GP if needed as well. But weather-wise, we've got a few showers on the cards this week, but Father's Day and the start of the Royal Adelaide show are looking in the clear. I'll have the full forecast coming up a little later. Good evening from Adelaide Botanic Garden on this first day of spring and it's also the start of National Asthma Awareness Week. Here in Adelaide we're already expecting the pollen count to be in the high range by this weekend. Now weather wise Adelaide's top today reached 15.8 degrees. We had some morning showers about six millimetres recorded here in the city. Across the suburbs it hit 16 north and south of the city. Mount Barker managing a top of 15. In the state's north there were scattered showers in most areas Wyala and Port Augusta reaching 16 degrees, 17 at Sejuna and Port Pirie. Rain at times further south, Murray Bridge and Port Lincoln reaching 17 degrees, 14 in Mount Gambier and a top of just 13 in Renmark and Nuriutpur. A trough of low pressure moved across the northeast of our state today as a cold front moves across the southeast. A high pressure system is now developing over the bite which will bring a short reprieve from the showers before a front due over southern parts on Thursday. Around the country tomorrow, possible showers in Perth, Melbourne and Hobart, rain in Canberra and Sydney, but a fine day for Brisbane and Darwin. Back in South Australia, an early shower or two for Maitland, but it should be fine day uh, further north. 17, the expected top in Wyala and Port Pirie, 18 in Port Augusta. Showers are expected through most southern districts, Port Lincoln, Nuriutpa and the lower southeast, heading for a top of 14 and up to 17 in Renmark and Murray Bridge. 
Now tomorrow a strong wind warning applies to the central and south central coasts as well as the Spencer Gulf and on metro waters winds will tend south to southwesterly up to 25 knots easing to 15 by late afternoon and turning east to southeast at 10 knots during the evening. Across the suburbs tomorrow, more showers expected early in the day and hitting 16 in Elizabeth and Norlunga, 15 in Glenelg and the Hills. For the city, we are expecting morning showers. They should clear by the afternoon, a top of 16 for the city after a low of 7 tonight. And looking further ahead, Wednesday looking fine. Possible showers on Thursday, but fine for the start of the Royal Adelaide show on Friday and fine as well for Father's Day on Sunday. That's the first week of spring, Brenton and Kate. Yeah, thanks, Virginia. Nice to have a fresh start with some rain for spring too. Well, that's the latest news for this, the first day of September. Thanks for joining us.